Now today we're looking at the man oil filter and this is something I'm very excited to check out just because it's probably the number one filter I've had viewers ask if I can cut open and do a uh, essentially a review on it. So that being said let's go over the components and I'll compare them with other filters that we've opened such as K&N, Amps Oil, Royal Purple, Mobile One, Wix XP, all that good stuff. If you're interested about those other filters I'll include a link in the description box and uh you know check it out if you want to so that being said let's take a look at the uh at the cartridge here as you can see the spacing is excellent very very good and the gluing is excellent you can barely see the glue on top of the filter where the end caps meet very very nicely made for sure uh, regarding the the material here it looks to be a cellulose uh, polyester a fiberglass type of blend so it's kind of funny because I try to do some research before I do any of these videos and this filter there isn't a lot of information out there in terms of uh, microns that it filters how many miles it's good up to and that sort of thing but you can tell just by the workmanship it's excellent uh, for sure now this is a German manufacturer very quickly and this is made in the United States apparently they've been in the filter business since 1941 you figure they have to know what the hell they're doing and you just you can tell by the spacing it's excellent now again going back to the material it's not synthetic it's, it looks to be again a polyester fiberglass cellulose type of material so in terms of, of how long this would last for the best thing I would do is just follow your vehicles recommended interval uh, when they recommend to change the oil so if you have you know a vehicle that says every 7,000 miles change the oil this will be perfectly fine uh, it's not as synthetic again synthetic looks something like this or essentially uh, you know every manufacturer is a little bit different this happens to be uh, this is am soil and it's just dirty from sitting in a box I keep all these all the parts after I do a video and it's wire back the amp soil this is not wire backed whoops this is not wire backed uh, wire backing you find on your higher end filters meaning 10 plus uh, maybe Wix XP is the one exception which is uh, like eight dollars usually but the whole point of wire backing is that it doesn't lose the conformity of the filter think of if you ever seen your house I've said this before your house AC filter they're usually wire back the whole point of that is so the filter doesn't collapse and and go into the blower of the furnace and that's the whole point here of these wire backings so it's not synthetic it's not wire back but again if you follow your your vehicles manufacturer recommended interval and how often to change change the oil this will be perfectly fine uh, metal end caps as you can see the center tube is metal we will open this up cut it open in a moment taking a look at this component this is the anti drain back valve the whole point of this little component is when you shut off the uh, your engine instead of having the the uh, the engine oil drain back into the filter this leaves some oil left behind in the engine so the next time you start it you don't have a dry start now every filter has this pretty much at least the ones I've opened up the difference comes to the material now this is silicone silicone is a higher uh, higher end material as opposed to rubber your cheaper filters such as uh, your Fram extra guard uses rubber your STP the blue one uh, the basic STP oil filter that's rubber uh, this is silicone so this essentially withstands uh, a better temperature range lower temperatures and higher temperatures than rubber whole point behind it so silicone that is certainly a nice thing to have and then on top of the filter you have a little valve this is called a bypass valve again every manufacturer uh, they auto manufacturer they uh, make it mandatory that these filters have these these valves at least on the late model cars whole point behind here is for for any reason if let's say this filter becomes clogged and now it cannot circulate engine oil throughout the engine or I should say to the engine there's a little valve here that would open up and that would still allow engine oil to enter the engine and so at least you don't starve the engine of engine oil then have a catastrophe so that's the whole point behind this little sucker right here here's your base plate you have eight inlet holes in this case uh, high quality gasket which I can tell just by the feel of it with other filters that I've opened this is really high quality a really nice filter I you know I bought this filter like two months ago I'm just getting a chance now to do a review because I have a few moments 
I don't remember how much it was. Um, the part is ML1008, which is on uh, for my Maxima. But uh, maybe eight bucks, seven, eight dollars. So uh, you pay, so it's a little bit more than your extra guard. It's a little bit more than your basic STP. But again, you it's one of these things that you, you're getting what you pay for. So I mean, just look at the spacing. I would have no hesitation shelling out the next year two or three dollars with this filter I, in my mind it's worth every penny uh, it's, it's just a very very nicely constructed filter for sure so let's cut it open now once we cut open the filter we can quickly verify that it is not wire backed again wire backing this happens to come from Wix XP the Wix XP oil filter very very nice filter by the way so you have your center tube your wire backing and then the cartridge end cap here another end cap on the bottom so it's not wire backed again it keeps the conformity of the filter but that being said the last 20 years i've been changing oil and oil filters the the majority of those filters were not wire backed i never once had an engine problem but again i always change the oil on time again this is cellulose polyester fiberglass type of blend most likely again it's tough to tough to really pinpoint it but I'm sure it's one of those or a blend of one of those of two of those as opposed to synthetic this happens to be a pure later boss really nice filter by the way which is good up to 15,000 miles so this is a synthetic filter up to 15,000 miles your polyester fiberglass cellulose usually you won't get that kind of mileage but again just follow what your manufacturer recommends and lastly, one little quick thing here I forgot to mention earlier. This is really just a little device that just keeps everything tightly uh, held together inside the cap. So this is a stamped piece of steel. Some filters you'll find a clamp. Again, this is from a Wix XP. Uh, most of them are these types, a stamped piece of steel, as opposed to the spring, because you figure the spring has to be more expensive to manufacture. The two off the top of my head that have springs are is Wix. XP, I think K&N also had a spring, if I remember correctly. And uh, the last thing we'll do very quickly, let's measure the square inches. We'll spread it out on the bench. We'll measure the, the length times the width. Get an idea in the square inches. And that's it, we'll wrap it up. Okay, so let's see, width-wise. Width, we're at approximately two and a quarter inches. All right, let's look at the length here. Uh, you can say, I can say 43 and a quarter. Okay, 43 and a quarter. You get a calculator. Okay, so 43 and a quarter times two and a quarter, and we have 97 square inches, and that's a very good number. With the other filters that we've opened, they're all made for the exact same vehicle. And with the, uh, the filters that have the polyester, fiberglass, cellulose type of media, 97 is a very very good number usually with the synthetic uh, media you find shorter numbers or lower numbers But again, it's, it doesn't really mean anything because it's a different media type altogether But this is a certainly a good number and based on the gluing that we saw earlier how tightly wound those pleats are What a really nice filter. I completely understand why a lot of people love these filters So thank you for watching if you like this kind of stuff, please uh, thumbs up, subscribe. Any more info, just do a Google search on man filters. I think it's man Hummel, uh, if I remember correctly. And again, they've been making this uh, filter since 1941. Good stuff for sure. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.